It's about time we run into some Forge mods for the latest version of Minecraft 1.19. We got 10 awesome ones to run through today, so let's get right into them in this video. Starting us off at number 10, we have Iron Chest. You can never get enough storage in Minecraft, and considering the most recent update added a whole new line of items that I can guarantee a majority of you guys are probably going to want to farm a lot of, especially if you're going to die to the warden about a gazillion times in attempts to do so, this mod seems to be just be a perfect thing just to have in Minecraft in general. The main idea behind this mod is that it adds in a collection of different chests that hold a lot more storage in comparison to your typical vanilla chest. There are several different tiers, going from iron's base chests all the way up to obsidian style chests that can hold a massive amount of items that pretty much just mean that it can, you can make your storage system a whole lot smaller overall in its overall block space it takes up, but you can also hold so much more items in the normal block space you would use for your storage if you want to keep your storage at the same size as usual. At number 9 we have Biomes O'Plenty. Now we all know this mod, it's been one that's been featured on a god gargantuan different amount of mod lists over the past several years, but basically speaking, if you've ever gotten sick to the typical atmosphere you expect to see in a Minecraft world, especially if you feel like the 1.18 itself didn't do enough to actually give the world a whole new experience to you when you're playing around in it, then this mod just adds in a huge variety of new biomes that you can find throughout your world. Not only does it do that, it also includes a huge collection of new blocks that you can also find too in order to create some new custom buildings that you may not have been able to make before. For example, you'll be able to find stuff such as cherry blossom glows, a continuous forest bog and wetland, rainforest, marsh and bayous, and so many other awesome biomes that you can find and explore within your new overworld. Of course, all the typical vanilla biomes are still there to be found as well if you want to experience those ones as normal, but they are pretty much mostly untouched except for maybe some transitioning places between the custom biomes biomes from the Biomes of Plenty mod and the vanilla biomes on default. At number 8 we have Mr. Crayfish's Furniture mod. Speaking about new styles of decoration that you may not have been able to do before with the last mod, this one just adds in a collection of new furniture for you to use in your favourite builds. Practically speaking, it's very simple to what it does. Again, as I said, it just adds in a collection of new furniture, adds in chairs, tables, etc, so on and so forth. New staircase styles, new kitchen based utensils you can use. It's, it's very simple to explain and I'm having trouble dragging it on any further so we shall move on with the next mod. Are you looking to start a new SMP server for update 1.19? Well I've got the deal for you. By using the link down in the description below you'll be taken towards a website known as Apex Hosting, a very good ho server hosting website that not only provides you with Minecraft based servers but also can provide you with servers from many other games, giving you many different options. These servers are pretty cheap in their prices in comparison to many other different Minecraft hosting services and the support team is actually very good in comparison to most, as well as the options and where you can actually place your server in the world is very very well wide and you've got many different choices even in just the one country itself you should be able to easily find a server position that's best for you and your friends. Anyway by using that link in the description down below you'll be not only supporting this channel but you'll also be getting yourself a mighty fine server at no extra cost on top of its initial things. Anyway back to the video. At number 7 we have McCall's Bridges. Now this mod is very simple it adds in a new variety of different style of bridges that you can create in your Minecraft world. Instead of having to take the time to create your own custom style of bridges with the use of wooden planks for your base and your wooden fences for the actual railings of the bridges itself you have this awesome mod that adds in a bunch of awesome little custom bridge based blocks that can allow you to have these more custom awesome looking bridges instead of using your typical fence structure or your stone walls you can now actually have your wooden bridges with actual log pieces as the railings but not taking up the typical space that a log piece would take as well as in a collection of other brilliant style of pieces you can also use for building bridges you can make some really cool wire looking bridges, some awesome bridges to use for your good old roller coasters, as well as a nice looking gravel and brick bridges and so so much more. You can have the bridges being extraordinarily wide or just being one block wide itself. It's all up to you on how you choose to customize and use these bridge blocks. Number 6 we have Macar's Fences and Walls. Basically following a very similar premise to the whole custom bridge thing, this just adds in a collection of awesome custom fences as well as a bunch of new custom gates to go along with it. One of the more awesome things about about this it also adds in some really cool things such as some barbed wire fences that will actually cause you damage if you walk into them without having like if you just walk into them by general ultimately the big thing to this one it just adds in a bunch of new custom fences and walls it's very simple it's in the name and it just ultimately allows you to have some more decorative opportunities in minecraft giving you more ability to make the more custom builds you may or may not be after in minecraft itself and number five we have the trash cans now i don't know what we will be thinking right now this video is such trash you want to throw it into 
to this, well, that's a perfect use of the trash cans in Minecraft. You got something useless in your inventory, something you're not really too interested in having, you just want to get rid of it. Well, it's a perfect way to do it without having, let's say, a cactus on site taking up a lot of space, or maybe having some lava and a potential fire hazard, or even just a never block, a never right block that's got fire on it continuously. This just saves you all that mess and potential fire hazards and other things on those lines. It just allows it to be a lot more easier. And all the beautiful thing is you can also just empty out water buckets or any form of buckets with fluids in it into these garbage cans as well very easily. There's also a third garbage can which is just the energy garbage can so with those people who are doing heavily modded Minecraft and you have a lot of excess energy that you don't really know what to do with and you don't exactly want to have to get the storage to store it then you can just throw it into the garbage can and have it disappear from existence. It just voids it out of the game. It no longer exists. Good luck. Have fun. For number four we have the tool belt mod. Now this is a very simple mod. It adds in some form of tool wheel type aesthetic to your game that allows you to contain all your tools within this wheel. Now of course when you first make your tool belt you kind of have to upgrade with other pouches in order to hold more spaces as by default you'll only be able to hold two tools total. Now personally in opinion the actual tool wheel itself isn't the most important part of the actual mod itself. The biggest part of this mod is the fact that it clears up your hotbar to make it so that all your tools can be contained with only a single slot in your hotbar. Meaning that you can actually use a lot more things in your main hotbar itself allowing you to be have a lot more storage space and so many other things along those lines they just make playing minecraft a lot more easier and having all the things you need in your hotbar at any given time a lot more usable at the same time for example whenever you're building you're building with let's say five six different style of blocks you can have all of those blocks in your hotbar as well as ease of access to the tools you may need to your food and potentially maybe a weapon or maybe something else you may have in your hotbar aside from your typical block building shenanigans and your tools to make your life easier number three we have the gravestone mods now we all have that one issue in Minecraft whenever you die. You lose all your items unless you have keep inventory on. Now Personally speaking, whenever I have key inventory on, it kind of removes part of the fun of Minecraft. If that's not your opinion there, then that's okay. You, you can have keep inventory on, it's your own thing. But one of the biggest issues I have with the just the burst of items is, well, your items kind of burst everywhere. It kind of a mini explosion of items. And let's say a creeper explodes right after you die. Or let's say lightning strikes and burns all your items. Or your items just fall into cactuses, into lava, and then all gets destroyed. Well, the gravestone here just removes that and it just goes, oh, you died? It's now all in your grave gravestone here you have to go find that gravestone now go on top of it and crouch down to rec reclaim all your items but at least your items aren't all over the place and you didn't lose any to let's say mobs picking them up or them being thrown into some cactuses or some fire or something along those lines they're all there easy to recover at number two we have simply light now what is simply light you're asking well it's simply light this mod is in a collection of new different style of modern types of light whether it be full block lights reactive redstone lamps in several different colors You've also got half slab style rotatable lamps. You've got the quarter block panel style rotatable lamps, fixtures for walls, ceilings, and floor lights, simple light bulb style fixtures, edge lighting strips that morph to fit against edge walls, water locked lamps, a three block tall lamp post, and a few other different light things. Basically, it's a lot of different simple light things that are more modern in comparison to your typical torch. You're sick of the torch being in your, in your walls everywhere, making a, a modern build look a bit ugly? Well, this is a perfect mod to just have some more modern light light fixtures simple as it is simply light and number one we've got guard villages ever get sick of defending the villagers yourself or having to put all your villagers inside of the villager buildings and then block their doors off because the iron golem can't do crap to defend them from zombies and hordes of things like that honestly not too surprising considering there's only typically like one iron golem per village well the guard villages as in a collection of different style of villages that have a collection of weapons and armor and are able to take on other form of mobs in order to defend their village overall it's just a nice little additional thing to having a village it makes a village more alive in my personal opinion giving some more cre more mobs in there that are going to be there to pretty much just defend their friends to defend the rest of the village these are the key warriors of the village i guess you would call them either way if you enjoyed this video make sure that like button down below make sure to subscribe and click this video on the end screen now or the playlist for more 1.19 mods and texture packs bye bye